In this video, I will be using the sample superstore data available from Tableau to show you how to create a top end ranking within subcategories and also showing the rest of the category totals in a rolled up subcategory named other. And as you can see here, there's a subcategory of other in the furniture, office supply and technology categories with rolled up total sales. So first we want to create a top end parameter that we'll use later on in different calculated fields to determine which subcategories are shown. To do this, we can right click on the sidebar, create parameter and name this top end subcategory and change the data type to an integer because all our rankings are going to be integer values and have the allowable values as a range with a minimum of one and let's just say a maximum of five so far with a step size of one. And let's take a look at the data that we'll be working with and the subcategory data. So I'm going to drag these in and because we're going to base it off of sales, we're going to take a look at the sales. And now that we've created the top end parameter, we can create a column to show which categories will be in the top end and which to show other. To do this, we can go to subcategory and create a calculated field. And let's name this subcategory plus other. And since we want to compare the rank of the sum of the sales to see which subcategories are part of our top end parameter, we can write an if statement. So if the rank of the, oh, if the rank of the sum of sales is less than or equal to our top end parameter, then we can just keep it as the subcategory because that's part of our top end and otherwise we'll name it other and end. Oh, we can see there's an error here because we can't mix aggregate and non-aggregate um, comparisons. So we can use the attribute function to return a single value in each of the different subcategory groups because they will all be the same within that group. So I'm going to add an attribute here. And now the calculation is valid. And we can take a look at the calculated field we just created. So we see that we only see currently the top one. Um, and it's calculated with the panel down. So we can change this to compute using subcategories. So we show the top one in every category. And let's just change this to two to make it more visible. So let's change the current value to two. And now you see there's two in each category. So now we'll create the sales for the subcategory of others so we can further combine it later on and show it in a rolled up format. To do this, we'll go to the sales and create a calculated field based off of that. And let's name this sales for other. And same as before, we'll have an if statement. So if the rank of the sum of sales is less than or equal to our sum, parameter, top end parameter, then those would have a value of zero so that it's not combined within the other because they're part of our top end. Otherwise, we'll have just the sum of sales that we will combine into the others and end this function. Here we can show kind of what that outputs and I'm just going to convert this to a discrete so I can put it into the row and show it out. And here you can see that it's for all the other subcategories, there's a value. And then for the top end ones, it's just zero. But we can see it's computed with the panel down. So then we will compute using the subcategories. Compute it's computed before using the table down. And now this is what we're expecting. And we can also change the format of this to currency. All right, next we wanna do the roll up of the sum for others. And to do this, we'll create another calculated field based off of sales. And so here I'm just gonna duplicate the sales for others because it has the same 
um, has the same if statement and it's just different outcomes. So I'm going to duplicate others and then edit it. And this will be total sales. So if our rank of the sum of sales is less than or equal to our parameter, then it will just be the sum of sales. Otherwise, we would want a window sum of our sales for other. And now we can take a look at our total sales and see that I'm just going to turn this into a currency to have it as a number and we can see it's also computing based off of the table down so we will compute it using the subcategories and now this is exactly what we want where the others will have the same total sales while the top end would have its actual value of sales. Now if we want to see just the top n plus one of other, we can create a ranking based off of the sum because the original sums will still be super low, so we will only see one of others. And to do this, we can go to sales and create a calculated field, and let's just name this showing top n and others. We can do this by using the rank function rank the sum of sales, and if this is less than or equal to our top and subcategory, then it will show up. And if we want to add one of the others, we can just add one here because these are all integer values. So here we'll click OK, and then drag this into the filters, and click True. Now we only see a really weird filtering of this, and this is because we have to also compute this using the subcategories. So we see the subcategories here, where we have the top two plus one of others. And if we want to have this more visually appealing, we can click this sorting up here, where it sorts by the sum of sales within the subcategories, and it will show the top one and two, and then others. And we can get rid of this for clarity. And if we also want to show the ranking beside all of these, we can create a function or a calculated field, which I've already done here, where it's just the rank, the sum of the sales, and we can drag this in between the sub subcategories. We'll change this to a discrete. And for this one, we also have to compute using the subcategory. And now we have the rankings of one, two, and three for each of the categories, and where in the subcategories the others are rolled up into this new value. Get rid of this to see our final result. And thank you for watching, and hope this video was useful for you.